This spring, I had the chance of a lifetime. I was given a really cool tour of Puesta del Sol, a net zero building in my school district, Bellevue. Puesta is a green building and green building is a system. Today, we're going to look at one element of this system. Energy efficiency with the DOAS unit. Cost-wise, there are two ways to build a building. Designing and constructing the building inexpensively, which leads to higher electrical and water bills over time, or spending money as engineering dollars, and expensively designing the building, resulting in lower bills over time. At Puesta, they chose to spend their money on engineering, and the DOAS unit is a great example of that. What is a DOAS system, you ask? DOAS stands for Dedicated Outside Air System. Rather than having ventilation as a part of the air conditioning system like most other buildings, this green building uses an entirely separate, dedicated, unit. Normally, in a building of Puesta size, two or even three DOAS units would be used. Puesta's engineers and architects designed a network of ducts. No, not that type of duct ducts, like arteries in the human body, to deliver the necessary air to all of the rooms. Just like arteries, the ducts start big, pulling lots of air, but branch off to deliver that air to individual classrooms. This design was complicated to figure out, but now that it's in action, it's saving the building energy. So how does this DOAS system work? Before Puesta, I had never heard of one before. This is the DOAS. It's jokingly called the school bus because of its size, but honestly, this thing is the size of a school bus. Inside, there's a dual flow system. This means that there are two heating cores and the air can flow in both directions through the system. In the winter, fresh outside air is super cold, but our building is nice and toasty. Without a DOA system, all of the energy the building poured into heating up the air inside is lost when the hot air is sent outside. With the DOA system, heat is recovered from the stale air being discarded from the building. As warm air flows out of the building, it charges one of the aluminum core heat exchangers. Let's call this one number one. While this is happening, charged core number two takes cold outside air and warms it before sending it to the building. After 90 seconds, core number one is warm and the flow of air flips. Now, cold outside air is rushing to core number one, and because it's charged, it warms that air to make it more comfortable for the classrooms. This cycle is flipped for core number two. And during the summer, this whole process reverses. Instead, the system charges the coils with the hot outside air, cooling that air down, so cooler air flows through the building. On the classroom side of things, here's what the DOAS looks like. A swirl diffuser that tosses fresh air all over the classroom. And rectangular return vents to pull the air back to the central unit. The DOAS unit's purpose is not to air condition the rooms. That's the heat pump's job. This beautiful bus simply saves the building energy by preventing needless heat loss. Energy is reused and the heat pump system doesn't work as hard to keep classrooms comfortable. What can your school bus do? Today, we looked at one small part of green building, but Puesta isn't alone. What's happening here matters to my school district. When I go to the Bellevue School District website, I see their sustainability policy. Bellevue is one of the first districts in Washington to have a sustainability policy. Green building is also important to my city, Bellevue. When I go to my city's website, I see this pie chart. Energy use in buildings is half the problem, but we have a whole plan to solve it. My city is part of a climate alliance with 18 other cities called K4C. Look it up. It's fun fact time. From about 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, sensors tell the DOAS to turn off entirely, allowing the air to flow directly into the building, saving energy.